Johnson County schools could end year round schedules as soon as this summer. The schedule costs more and a recent study found it's not improving test scores. But as our Robert Richardson explains, some parents and teachers believe that study doesn't tell the full story. Kisa Hargett says her oldest son struggled when he moved from year round schooling to a traditional schedule. His first probably month of school needed to be remediation because he, it was, there was so much time to forget information that wasn't retained quite as well as I had liked it. That came as he left South Smithfield Elementary for middle school. South and West Smithfield Elementary are the two JCS schools on the year round schedule. Each costs about $100,000 more to operate due to providing staff and transportation on that schedule. We all are um, stewards of taxpayer money and that we have to look at programs, uh, processes critically. So JCS recently looked at test scores of students at the year-round schools and the system's other schools to compare what students still knew after summer break. The study found that year-round did not result in higher performance, but some teachers say that students here might do worse with traditional breaks. They need that year-round type of learning where you are not out of school for eight to 10 weeks and not getting any reading or writing or math skills. Kisa Hargett, who lives in Selma, asked JCS to let her children attend the year round school and says they succeed because of the length of the breaks. He had more time to retain the information and to be able to get right back into using it when he got back to school. In Smithfield, Robert Richardson, CBS North Carolina.